What's going on guys? I hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. I'm very excited. Just finished my agent visual inspection disclosure. Had to go through every inch of the property and give my visual inspection. Oh man, I'm so happy to share this with you guys. I got an offer accepted for $2.5 million. Oh man. My clients are ecstatic. I am ecstatic. This is the highest that I've ever got an offer accepted on, 2.5 million. Oh man, so I just finished my individual inspection and I just wanted you guys to see the property before I get into this video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you guys like this video because I'm giving you the scoop. I'm giving you guys the, the new wave of real estate, okay? But this is my property here in Alameda, California. 2.5 million in escrow, closing in 10 days. As smooth as you gonna get, okay? Check it out. So this is my property here. I'll make sure I share a couple photos with you guys, but this is my first accepted offer and I am through the roof, just excited. But check out this video on how I was able to make this happen. All right, guys, so now you guys know how long I've been with Redfin. Getting this deal, I was in my second week of being in Redfin. Now, this is the second week in the field, practicing real estate. This is not counting the, the training that I had to do. From me stopping at my other brokerage to me coming to Redfin, I couldn't do anything, and then I couldn't do anything until I completed the Redfin training. So I had a, I, so I had a pause in my career. So coming out, in the field, I was hungry. I was ready to go, meeting clients, keeping up with clients. In total, since going in the field, I've gotten eight clients in total. Three weeks with Redfin, I've got eight total clients that I'm helping. And now, my first client that I got is looking for a $1.2 million house. That's the type of clientele that they're bringing me, high value clientele, and it, it is phenomenal. Going through the Redfin website, I got this client, reached out to me and said, hey, I, I want to see this home. Can you send me some details? He wanted the disclosures and he wanted any, as much information as I could find um, on the property. So I sent disclosures, I sent inspection reports, anything that's going to be able to give him an idea of the status of this home before he sees it physically. Meeting the client is very appreciative of my proactiveness and being able to get him the information that he was looking for. So he automatically knew right off the bat that I was about my business. I'm about helping people i'm here to guide you through the process gave him the tour showed him the property his wife the whole time loved the kitchen loved the living space this is great for the kids so it was a great tour every question he had i was prepared i had the listing information right there in front of me ready to go and at the end of the tour my client said hey we love this home my aunt lives right down the street we want to put in this offer and we're going to use you and i was ecstatic very ecstatic. The highest listing that I've ever shown. I have a client that is highly eager and the deal is smooth as butter. 10 day escrow, all cash, no contingencies. It don't get no better than that. So we still had to fight. So my client, we submitted the offer at $2.4 million. The listing was 2.3 million. We submitted at 2.4. We had some difficulties. All it took was three other buyers to come in the mix and we got into a bidding war. Received a counter offer from the listing agent that looking, they're looking for 2.5 million. They are looking for a one day earnest money deposit. My client didn't have any issue with that. We had to negotiate the earnest money deposit because 24 hours is just not, a, not enough time to make sure that you get the wire transfer and everything complete. So we asked for the two days. Long story short, we got the offer accepted. And ah, uh, you just don't even know. I literally, from the deadline, was the negotiation started. The, the deadline was at 1 p.m. We, we received counters right off, of, right off the bat. We had until 8 p.m. and we submitted our counter maybe two hours later 
And I literally didn't hear back from the listing agent until 7.55. The whole time I was sitting there just biting my nails, hoping something stick. But as soon as the listing agent called me and told me congratulations, I, I just, I went numb. Um, very excited, man. I can't express this enough. If you are a new agent and you're looking to build trust and you're looking to grow in this business, Redfin is the way to go. It is. I'm going to get a great bonus. My salary is good. They pay for my gas. They pay for my MLS. They pay for every single thing. And then within two weeks of me being with this company, I've secured one of the biggest, one of the biggest transactions of my career. And I only say one because there's going to be so much more. I am so excited. I am so eager. I have to hold back my excitement because, you know, I want to make sure you guys is getting as much educational content as I can provide and give you guys as much information that you need to make sure you are successful with Redfin. But guys, 2.5 million on my first deal with Redfin. It don't get no better than that. I took off like, like almost a month and a half. I had to completely stop doing real estate, leaving my brokerage, transferring over to Redfin, transferring over my association from the Stockton area to the Oakland area. If you know California, you know the, the distance of that. So I had to change my association. I had to wait to go through training. Whew, and the fact that I've been able to secure that within two weeks, it just don't stop. Who's next? Who's ready to go? And it's, it's, it's just that simple, guys. Follow your passion, follow what you wanna do, and go head first. And I just wanna explain to you guys how butter this is. So after I got the offer accepted, my manager reached out to me, said, hey, let's meet in the morning. This, Like I said, this is at eight o'clock at night. I wasn't doing nothing now. Uh, we had to get all the paperwork finalized and everything. But the next morning, my manager said, hey, hey, let's meet in the morning and let's go over this offer and let's flip it over to your transaction coordinator. Now, I'm, you know, I've done deals in the past with traditional real estate and it, it's a lot more paperwork, you know, that you have to get completed, have your client sign, have to sell it, get the seller to sign and make sure you put it in zip form. Oh my gosh. With Redfin, I have a transaction coordinator that assists me with everything. My transaction coordinator, as soon as I flipped it and, and notified her that, that the deal was mutual, she immediately called me, said, hey, congratulations. Let me know how you like to work. Let me know how you like things done so I can make sure I'm supporting you in the best way possible. Luckily, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. You know, she's been in the business far longer than I have. She just took a step back to do transaction coordinating, which is, you know, your preference. But the transaction coordinator is, t is literally handling all of the paperwork. I just sit back until the deal is closed. Of course, I handle all the correspondence with my client. I make sure my client knows what's going on. He is updated with the status and process of everything. I make sure that I am the main point of contact for my client, but I'm not the one physically doing everything and it's phenomenal. Being a real estate lead agent, with Redfin, they give you every single resource that you need. Agent Tools is, is amazing. The CMA tools, everything that we have accessible to us sets us out far ahead than your traditional real estate agent. And I'm telling you guys, I'm speaking from experience. I've been traditional and I've been, and, and now I'm salary. So it's, it's, it's not that, it's, it's not that crazy, man. It's, it's okay to just take a step back, right? If you're not seeing ex the results that you wanna see in traditional real estate, try out Redfin if it's in your area. I promise you, they're gonna give you every single thing that you need to provide and be your best for their client. But at the end of this, please make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys like this video. But what I really wanna leave this with you guys is my mentor had even mentioned to me I should give it some time before I signed on with Redfin. He didn't think that I should have made that decision as quick as I did. I'm a provider. I have to do things for my family. My 
original broker actually told my mentor that he thought I was making a mistake. He thought that I would regret my decision. And I'm just gonna tell you guys, from my personal experience, from training to up at this point, I have not regretted my decision. I have not regretted putting myself in a position to provide customer service top-notch customer service the best thing about this all is the fact that I've done all of this before I've done the consultations I've done the transactions I've done the paperwork but then joining Redfin I also got to get trained I went through a whole training on things I already knew but it, I'm always teachable I'm always coachable so I was able to get a second look to get a second view at things starting out I was learning as I go now I've been able to confirm boom I'm doing everything right let's keep building 2.5 on my first deal I can't wait to see what six months gonna look like man this is two weeks two weeks in the field at Redfin and I just want to say you guys you can do it too whatever is best for you do it Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me on social media at Derek Real Estate on Facebook and Instagram. I'm here to provide you guys with all of the content to make sure that you are successful in whatever it is that you want to do in real estate. You guys take it easy and stay safe.